So YouTube, welcome to part two of my story. So after I put up, after the Matthew West series, after uh, I put up Chris Tomlin, after all that, first I started, like I said, with the chipmunk song. And then I think it was To Love You More. And then after To Love You More was Kirk Franklin. No, after To Love You More was, yeah, Kirk Franklin. And then, no, after To Love You More was God Help the Outcast. After God Help the Outcast um, was Kirk Franklin. And then after Kirk Franklin was this whole 12 week Matthew West series. Um, after the Matthew West series, it was Chris Tomlin. Um, and what those were, those videos are still on my channel. I, I remember this so clearly. I would get up in the morning having no idea what I was going to say. And the Lord would just um, fill me with what I'm going to say. And I spent two hours well with Kirk it was I spent like I would get up at 8 at I would start about 9 o'clock in the morning and then it would go to about lunch time which my lunch booking is like 1230 on a Saturday morning just typing what God would download in my spirit so when it came to vision and living life to the fullest. I I honestly didn't know what I would write with the song, but I knew that God was was saying something through me and to me and all that stuff. So I would just download what I heard him. I would just I would just type through my voice activated system what I was hearing him say. I would just get the picture that he told me to get it and type what he told me to type and then um because when you're living your life to the fullest sometimes you don't know how things will turn out but that's okay. You have to take that bull by the horns and just do it and know that God has your back. Every Every Saturday for those first few months and Sunday, because I wasn't going to church at that time. So every Saturday for those first and Sunday for those first few months, I would write straight on the computer what the Lord would say through me using that song. And then I would add the song. Um, I would go to Google Chrome not Google Chrome. I would go to the Google site, um, Google Images, pick out the picture, and then start start typing and then add that particular song. And then when I was done with Chris Tomlin, I'm like, Lord, this is getting expensive to uh, download the song. I don't have that much money to do this what do I do and I want to start preaching the word rather than having music and writing they're beautiful you could see them they're really well done especially I'm so proud of the Matthew West series and people love the Kirk Franklin today um, the video that I did I it has over 1 million hits and the, and the Matthew West series has oh my god it's so Oof, it's so many hits. People love that series. You can always check it out. It's on my channel. Um, and um, after I uploaded to Chris Tomlin, um, I was like, Lord, there's got to be a cheaper way to do this and less time-consuming way to do this. Because that took me like, oh, four or five hours each time. Uh... Kirk Franklin took me a ridiculous amount of time 
to actually um, put it up because every time I think it's over, the song would just cut off in the middle um, and then it wouldn't be done. It was God's way of saying, you're not done yet with this song. So that took me about, oh, seven hours to do. But that video, out of all my videos, has received the most hits. You, oh, 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 she, oh, oh, she. Sometimes, sorry, that was tongue talking. I that I lapsed into that for those of you who don't know what that is and think I'm talking gibberish. That's what it is. Um, for those of you who think, oh my gosh, this is taking the longest time. That Kirk Franklin video took me more. Uh, basically all day. Remember I told you a video to put up like that would take me into lunchtime? Well, that Kirk Franklin video took me until about 6 o'clock. I'm no kidding. To get all of it right and to make sure the spelling was right and to make sure the song it would play out and to make sure I had enough and every time I would think that Kirk Franklin video was done, the the song would cut off in the middle and I would be still upset. I'm like, Lord, what else do you want me to say? This song is so long and blah, blah, blah. But the Lord always would have something for me to say. And if you look at the end product, I'm so proud of that Kirk Franklin video. It's called Kirk Franklin Today. Go to my channel and you'll see it. Um, it has fireworks and makes a bunch of declarations and says a bunch of stuff that have blessed so many people. And when I think of how long it took me to upload that video, but it was all worth it. See, when you live life with passion, it may take you long to get there, but to get where you're going, but the end product um, is wonderful and it's so blessing so many people. When I think of all those Saturday and Sunday mornings where I took the time and blah 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 to write out, to type out, to fix spelling mistakes. Anyway, this is just a side note. If you see any spelling mistakes, that was probably because I missed a few things. Um, but overall, they turned out really good, exactly the way I wanted them. So all all those Saturdays, all those hard, all that hard work, making those um, first videos, I just remember all the hard work and all the Lord, are people going to do going to look at this and are people going to really receive things from this? And people, it took time, but. People are really receiving blessings from my Matthew West series and my Kirk Franklin video and my the video I did for God Help the Outcasts and the other um, video I did, the John P. Key video, which was just basically the song because um, they didn't have it and I love that song. So I put the song up there. Um, I said who was by and everything. I said it was me that had the right to the song, so YouTube didn't take it down. They were gracious enough not to do that, um, because uh, I get, gave honor to whom honor was due. Um, that's a whole other sermon. Um, but after the Chris Tomlin, um, I was like, Lord, I really want to preach, but how do I do it? And the Lord, I, I was scanning down, um, there's a program on my computer that I can record stuff, um, not record my face or anything, but just record stuff. And I'm like, okay, but YouTube, I need a picture, it can't just be a re recorded stuff. So what I did was when I had my book launch, um, I had some pictures taken. 
because at that time I thought I was going to be an, an author so I had some pictures taken um, uh, the head of my school arranged for me to have some pictures taken so what I did I used that same program that I had to record certain thing to record my voice and would record the track and then would upload a picture um, into the track so I took those pictures stuck it on and added the track to it and I said let me try and do this so that's what I did. I started uploading those kind of videos with just my voice and a picture to go with it. You see how the Lord was progressing me from those videos that were just words, not my voice at all, to videos that were my voice and a picture of me. So that's a progress progression. I, I was actually... I'm actually able to speak now, although people couldn't see, they could see a still picture of me. And then just this past, and I said, okay, Lord, I really want a webcam so people could actually see me speaking and it would be easier. Um, and, um... And I said, Lord, I really want a web webcam. So my sister, hi, Michelle, I love you. My sister, for my graduation, first of all, my mom called and said, hi, mom, love you too. Um, my mom called and said, well, what do you want for your graduation? Um, we're planning on getting you a TV because the TV outside is uh, ups, outside is busted. So when I said, no, I don't really want a TV. I don't really watch TV, but what you can get me is a webcam. So my sister, Michelle, got me a webcam and set it up for me. Hi, Michelle. Um, so that is the place where I am now. See, when you live life with passion, See, God saw I was passionate to do what I was um, called to do. And you know, when you live every day with purpose and passion, and like it's your last, He opens doors. He opens doors that you wouldn't believe. I didn't know that a year later from doing those first videos that I'd be actually preaching weekly um, to people. I had no idea. I just trusted the Lord and he did the rest. Honey, you've got to live life with passion. You've got to find out what God has ordained you to do and do it because life is short. Um, okay, YouTube. See you later. Bye.